people kind of, you know, know quite a few things that I've done that, that uh, um, you know, let's say are on the darker side. Um, the attraction for this was that um, uh, it was uh, very gothic um, and very uh, sensual. Um, uh, I don't know how much uh, of that. Obviously, there'll be two different versions, I would imagine. Um, but instead of just the, you know, the, the bad guy, um, which we've uh, come to use in that terminology. Um, and so it was very attractive, you know? Um, and I, I've always liked uh, kind of uh, gothic pieces anyway. I'm a great fan of uh, Edgar Allan Poe. Um, and uh, kind of all came together. What I find interesting about this particular film, if you want to call it a horror film, which mm -hmm. essentially it's going to be sold as, mm -hmm. is it also has a lot of human nature into it. Mm -hmm. And a lot that you're bringing in as well, a certain sensuality. Mm -hmm. He's not strictly a scary figure. No. There's humanity to him. Mm. How did you go about then developing this characterization for him? From reading Poe, from talking with Eric, the director, and the two of you coming to a conclusion of how you see this man coming mm -hmm. across on screen? Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I guess I'd say that the, the overriding um, thing uh, that I got from uh, Eric was um, why do people trust other people? Um, you know, we know the genre of film that we're doing. Um, and of course, the key is how do you do it differently? Um, and there's a, there's a great sense of um, questioning, I guess, of each other in the six main characters um, who share, you know, a time, if you will, in this house. Um, and injected into that environment is is i um and how, how do you um almost if you will um because you've basically only got 90 minutes to tell a story um how do you uh, immediately get trust and one of the things is is to listen so he spends a lot of time on the surface looking as if he's uh, an interested party and what better way to be interested and use the guys is to be uh, a builder, uh, an architect who is here to uh, study the history of the home. And in that he then uses his device, which is to get as much uh, information and power he can short space of time and then you have some scenes coming up in the lair mm. um have you seen the drawings or the of the costume of the monster they created and what are your feelings about that is that what, how you had seen it as pure evil incarnate i am um, i i kind of loosely know um uh, rob hall who uh, uh who shop made everything um and uh, I think a lot of the key to any of this stuff is having a great sense of humor. Um, because uh, at the end of the day, um, when you see the finished product, um, it's, it's all fine and, and good and everything. But the work that goes into it, a lot of it you don't see. And um, he's got a, a great sense of um, um, what can really, you know, be photographed very, very well. Whether you get to see it all, you know, that's obviously, you know, the, the whole trick of a lot of this stuff is seeing less. Um, but he's, I have great faith in him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the only thing that I would add is, is that I, I'm, I'm really, I'm personally very, very pleased um, that uh, Trimark uh, have chosen to, to make their film here. Um, There's a wonderful opportunity to make incredible films and this is such an incredible country um i think you know in los angeles we get you know very spoiled with the, with the weather <laughs> and we forget that um, you know there are places that rain so what you know what you give back is so beautiful in, in terms of production value and uh i'm, I'm personally very
very privileged to, 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 to have the opportunity.